<clears throat> Good morning, Mustang family. Welcome back to another beautiful school week here at Harev Christian School. And happy Tuesday. As you know, yesterday we did observe uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and we uh, celebrate the life of that extraordinary human being. At this time, please join me for the pledges. The Pledge to the American Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Pledge to the Christian Flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. The Pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I may not sin against God. Please be seated. Celebrating birthdays today, we have Amanda Montiagudo in eighth grade. Matthew Estrada celebrated his birthday over the weekend. Joshua Jano, Adriana Lobo, Sofia Mesa, Dennis Roman, Michelle Hernandez, Thank you. and Gabriel Villamar. Happy birthday, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had an awesome birthday over the weekend. I know some people are, are, have their birthdays today. Make sure, I know I know you middle school and high school kids, you guys are too cool, you're too old for it, but you're always welcome to come get one of our new birthday pins. Uh, you can even take a pencil, a crown, and a sticker if you like, but uh, we definitely invite all birthday, uh, birthday boys and girls to stop by the office for their uh, treats. All right. A reminder, students, please make sure to be working on your STEM projects. Elementary, I know yours are, uh, yours are due this Friday. Uh, I know working with Ethan and Elliot at home, uh, really mom working with Ethan and Elliot at home, uh, they're coming out quite nicely. We look forward to the engineering portion this year. I, I know a lot of uh, boys and girls, a lot, a lot of young men and women are, are working on the engineering part of the STEM, which is the, the main reason we opened it up. Uh, just to diversify and offer you another opportunity to show off those skills. We look forward to seeing those on campus soon. Our STEM fair will be taking place next month. Um, students, we did, we did uh, discuss with your teachers in elementary and uh, secondary teachers, I will discuss this with you as well. Elementary had a great idea of uh, opening up our uh, dis displays to PowerPoints. This is in an effort to save your parents time and money. As you know, the global supply chain is creating a strain on prices and availability of items. Uh, because of this, I, I was looking this weekend on, on Amazon and I was finding trifold boards upwards of $50 for a trifold board. Normally this costs under $10 uh, just a couple of years ago. Uh, the cheapest I found on Amazon was about $27. So because of this, we're opening it up to different forms of display. If you want to use a poster board, uh, you can find a trifold board. If you feel comfortable paying those prices, that's quite all right. You can use a trifold board as well. You can even display it through a PowerPoint in class. We will open that up for PowerPoints as well. Pastor Gardner, you have Ryan Henning Once on. we decide to, uh, to display that, right, most likely you. in our cafeteria, we will have our smart boards playing with your PowerPoints. We can also do that. But that is a cost-effective way, and it works quite well. You can show videos and pictures on those PowerPoints. Your teachers will discuss more with you today. Uh, all right, folks. I hope you have an amazing day. A reminder to stay safe. If you come in contact with someone, commu communicate that with us. I want to commend our parents and, and students. We've had a few cases over the weekend. The parents communicated with us right away. We appreciate that. That will keep us safe. 
I'm even getting communication on a constant basis of parents showing us negative test results. Uh, they took the extra measures and, and because they were in contact with someone, they took PCRs or rapid tests and they're sending us the negative results. We appreciate it. So thank you so much parents and students for being responsible. And thank you teachers for being in constant communication. I know even through the weekend when it's your, uh, your time to be with family, you are communicating with me. We appreciate it. That is what's keeping Hareb safe. Uh, and we really are doing a fantastic job in that department. All right, folks, let's have an amazing day. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for, for everything, Lord. We thank you for the hard times, Lord, because we know that hard times make strong men and women. This is only sharpening us, Father. We know this. We thank you for all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. Lord, we ask that you speak to us and be with us always. And that you remind us on a constant basis, Lord, that we do everything to glorify you in your kingdom, Lord. May we not forget this, Lord. Be with us, Lord. Speak to us. Be with our teachers today, with our students, Father. Be with any families that are not feeling well, Lord, or experiencing hardships. Be with our support staff, Father. Be, give them the strength and fortitude, Father. Be with our leadership teams. Be with our PTF, Father, as they are in... in in plans right now for upcoming events. We are jam-packed, Lord, the rest of the year. Be with them, Lord. Give them the wisdom, Father. Give them the strength and fortitude. Lord, we thank you, Lord. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen.